Any sustainable marine management program must consider socio-economic development as well as ecological and biological conservation. Community education is key. The next generation of breadwinners need to have a clearer understanding of their environment and knowledge of alternative opportunities at their disposal to cope with the ever-changing world. These children will then spread the word to their parents. Ifati Primary School has 320 pupils schooled in only four classrooms and initially only had four teachers. Reef Doctor employs and trains an additional four teachers to help the school teach the required national curriculum. Child attendance at the school has soared since Reef Doctor improved the appalling conditions there. Thanks in part goes to the Rotary Club of Trikistan, who provided financial aid to repair the food stores, to deliver two tons of school books and bought much needed school equipment. Reef Doctors repaired the classrooms, the building's roofs, the food hall and replaced the windows and doors and most importantly kept the school's administrative processes running and constantly improving. This all meant more children can now learn in a fully functional and inspirational environment and be provided with one meal a day. Reef Doctor created a locally focused curriculum for the pupils. It teaches them about their marine and associated environments, how they work, what they provide, what effect human activities have had, what can be done to reduce the drain of those precious resources, and how to employ sustainable practices. The curriculum has been implemented in two schools in the area, and with more funding, Reef Doctor hopes to work with all 11 schools in the Bay. Reef Doctor and the Rotary Club of Tricastan, in collaboration with Electricien Sans Frontières and EDF, have provided the schools with solar panels, the first for any school in the whole region. Lights extend the school day, allowing extracurricular classes for kids and adults, and also for community meetings. This has provided massive motivation for the community. Reef Doctor would love to be able to provide solar panels for all schools in the Bay. Conservation themed school fates, competitions, a kids club and a marine museum are successful and popular projects set up by Reef Doctor to improve community awareness and harmony on conservation issues and general education. Social development initiatives are also key. Reef Doctor set up the first women's association in Ifati, locally known as Fimitami, to empower local women to make important changes to their way of life. The Reef Doctors are educating and supporting the creation of small businesses, such as honey and jam making, rice cake production, the staple breakfast diet of a fisherman's family, embroidery and small shops, increasing both local and tourist-based income. Reef Doctor also provides general workshops on health and hygiene, first aid, mentoring on women's health to young girls, 60% of whom have had their first child by the age of 16, and with both sexes in terms of STDs, and in particular with regards to AIDS, which is almost considered a myth amongst the local population. With a local, enthusiastic and charming entrepreneur who goes by the name of Mr Elias, Reef Doctors established the Under-18 Sports Association. 180 children involved in rugby, football and volleyball. The girls and boys rugby teams both won the National Rugby Tournament of Madagascar, twice. Absolutely remarkable for a village of just 3,000 inhabitants. secure the long-term ecological security of the region and to preserve their cultural heritage of a coastal way of life, more fishermen and their families are looking to undertake alternative livelihoods within their marine environments. The Reef Doctors have worked with two villages, training farmers in best practices for crop and vegetable growing, such as water usage and use of natural fertilizers. 
Reef Doctor is very much hoping to expand upon these essential long-term alternatives, especially aquaculture, for it must be remembered that the locals are Vezu, they are fishermen and not farmers. Reef Doctor is in Madagascar not only to preserve the reef, but also these beautiful people's unique culture and way of life. The background to the Bay of Renault Bay is one of complex environmental problems alongside cultural and political issues, which differ markedly within each community. Over the past 25 years, the Bay and its communities have had their fair share of intervention from outside national and international organisations, all trying to save the environment and trying to help the communities develop sustainably. The evidence shows they have spent a great deal of money and achieved little. They failed due mainly to their approach, their lack of persistence and their short-sightedness. Their methodology of short-term projects combined with a limited interaction with the communities to understand the culture and knowledge of their environment with which they have lived for over a millennia has resulted in little to no impact just months after their retreat and departure. Reef Doctor is the first organisation in 25 years to come into the Bay and fully achieve its goals using its holistic approach. A mantra of living with, understanding and involving the local populations first before implementing long and short-term ecological and socio-economic projects, as well as developing a sound reputation with the regional and national governments, has been proving a great success. Its in-country partnerships are testament to the respect Reef Doctor has earned and they still continue to try to bring other organisations together to collaborate with expertise, experiences, methods and combining data for the sole benefit of the people and their environment. Reef Doctor has been given financial assistance via its founder and the Steen Rostang family and has achieved all this on a limited annual budget of £30,000. That's just 60,000 US dollars a year since 2002. However, due to the necessary expansion of the Reef Doctor team and of their system to other villages, as well as many more innovative projects commencing, the annual costs have doubled to more than $120,000 a year since 2006. To help with financial support for the project, in 2005, Reef Doctor set up the Reef Doctor Volunteer Programme to bring in marine biology trained graduates from universities and enthusiastic members of the public to take part in the work, receiving small donations from these volunteers to pay for their housing, food, lodging, equipment, diving and training. Donations also go towards paying for the staff of Reef Doctors and its many projects underway. This, however, currently provides just 20 to 30% of its operational budget. Reef Doctor is now looking to secure next year's funding target of $160,000 to ensure that the projects continue and are expanded to more people and more villages in the Bay of Rano Bay. This short presentation has outlined some of the main activities Reef Doctor undertakes. With more funding and support, the organisation can go from strength to strength, continuing to make massive improvements to the local communities and to the environment upon which they rely. Act local to help global.